Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how I create my outros. I did a video of how to create my intro. I've added outros in every video that I've made recently. So, alright, so I'm gonna open a project and I'm gonna open a... Oh, look how organized I am. First, I'm gonna open my... Uh, my uh, why am I showing you this? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so basically, I'm not gonna open anything because I'm gonna put an outro in this video and the outro that I'm going to make in this video is the outro I'm gonna use in this video. Outro Inception. Outro Inception. Okay, so usually I would just open a project or something but most of these, it's either finished with the editing, it already has an outro or it doesn't have the appropriate materials for the outro to be created right now. That makes complete sense. So I look at my schedule uh, as you have seen earlier, I've shown you my schedule. That's my upload schedule until December. And I already have videos ready, video plans. Yeah, I, I'm good at planning. Makes me feel so productive, even though I'm not. Let's pretend that we already have a video in here. So I'm gonna go to... I'm using Camtasia 8.5, I'm not mistaken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the callouts. Go down here, select text. Okay, so I'm going to click editing dimensions. Since I don't have a video, it doesn't have the size that I usually use. What I use is 1280 by 720. Great for YouTube. Thank you. And keep aspect ratio and the background color. I usually go for a muted color. Okay, so what a muted color is, I'm gonna explain it to you. Okay, so this is a neon yellow color. And this is a pastel yellow color. And this is what a muted yellow looks like. And I'm warning you, muted yellow does not look good. Looks like rotten eggs. So a muted color has a mix of gray on it, so that's why it's muted. And muted yellow does not look good. Let's go with a maybe green for Camtasia. This is a muted color. And click OK. That looks half muted, half pastel, so deal with it. And then I'm gonna go click OK. I've selected my call out and I'm gonna scroll down and make sure that it doesn't have any fade in or out. That's why it has to pop, you know? So I'm gonna zoom in my timeline, make it wider, longer, because I freak out with the details. So usually I put a gap before the first text, which will be subscribed. And as you can see, it's really teeny tiny. But this is what it looks like. It's a subscribe and I'm gonna remove the shadow don't like any shadows here the usual font that i use is bebas why didn't i select bebas i don't know and usually the font is around 72 80 90 or 100 see this little playhead i'm going to move it further so it has space so the next text that i will put won't appear at the same time as subscribe if that makes sense it will be a transition so i'm gonna go Control c Control v i'm just gonna copy the text because for us time to reset all of section section Choices, choices. I don't know why I'm so talking today. So I'm going to delete that. I usually put Twitter slash Instagram colon Rimalo. Okay. So I'm going to put it around 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. Usually the font that I use would be it will be book antiqua, antiqua, book antiqua, bookman old style, or the classic century or center. Extend the frame so that it would fit in one line, and I usually put it underneath. Subscribe. So when you play it, it will be like this. I'm going to go import media go to my png folders and i have tons of pngs that is saved when my computer was reformatted which is pretty much useless i would rather save my wallpapers but you know okay so i have these two pngs to subscribe to be uni hey it's really small but it's okay it's pixelated because it's supposed to be pixelated which is why i love it. okay so i'm gonna move the playhead again and then add the next one make it bigger new videos every friday and i will position it where it fits Usually I layer them because it looks really cool. It's it's like a staircase now as you can see. I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna show you everything that I do. I don't usually do this. I make variations so it would be exciting. Not really. So I'm gonna go import media. Oh, look at that. Go to my effects, sound effects folder and I'm gonna go get popping sound. You can get one on YouTube search popping effect. I know what specific one that I want because I've used this multiple times. I'm gonna zoom in, cut it as close as I can and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it aligned to the text Okay, so I don't know if this recording records sound from my computer So that was stupid Can you hear it? I'm going to get the popping sound again And I'm going 
to get the other popping sound where is this one and put it on the subscribe the subscriber usually the biggest word usually has a different pop popping effect and the rest have the same i'm gonna put it here and put the playhead over here um, i'm gonna go import media and go to videos so here i will look at the four previous videos that i did a one photoshop related video one personalization video one sim video and one vlog video the last two is the instagram video which is this one and this is my to be uploaded folder which is not enough i still need the other half is selection tools selection tools i finished editing that where is it oh no vander wall and the last one would, the third one would be the sim 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 create a sim video i'm not sure if i can upload this by the last friday of september but my vlog vlog i obviously haven't recorded my vlog for september which is my birth month let's do this i'm going to select it all it's usually four but chill add the timeline playhead don't panic okay looks really weird you're gonna go to audio and since you selected them all and you place them all together if you select them you're gonna go click silence don't want them to be and you're gonna make them smaller like so i'm gonna zoom out i'm going to make them start at the same point yeah i'm gonna zoom in so what i do is i select a part that is really attractive entertaining enough i'm gonna zoom out you really just zoom out find a useful part of the video oh this is really cool <laughs> i'm i'm not this lazy okay it just happens to be the, they happen to have the same best previews at the same time so don't don't blame me uh, i'm just gonna go Control x and cut it because i'm usually get confused where i am so i'm gonna zoom in paste it right just right here make sure this is space oh Alright, so I rebooted the app and here we are again. Um, where were we? Okay, so where is it? Okay, so I'm gonna select the three of them, delete by this part, and sometimes I speed up the preview, but in this case, I'm not gonna speed it up because it's fine. Okay, so since I don't have the vlogging video yet, I'm going to go call out, scroll down, down until simple rectangle, and I'm gonna it is usually i go full screen right here and i put it on top one and make sure it's aligned and copy the size that's basically how you do it and i'm gonna select the simple rectangle and i'm gonna remove the border and then the fill color okay we'll put it in pink okay so vlog playlist to bebas i'm gonna make it fit it depends on how long the text is in this case i can put it at 28 you know what i'm gonna put it on 36 nope i'm gonna put it at 40 48 will do oh sometimes i include my blog go check it out if you have the time a blog with a letter b not with a letter v okay, so i'm going to align the playhead video previews and i'm going to create another call out so usually i just copy one so i'm gonna change it to the title of the video sims 4 create a sim sim self you already know what it is and then i'm going to fit it to the inside like so usually i go with white or black it depends on the colors so c control v and i'm gonna move it right over here hashtag goals <laughs> I still don't know the title of that video, so here we go. And then I'm gonna copy and then paste again and then move it right up here. I'm going to go more and voice narration and start recording. And sometimes I don't like it, so I do it again. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big gold thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Subscribe for more videos every Friday. And you can see my previous videos right over here. And go check out my vlog with a letter B okay as you can see this is my voiceover folder and it's pretty full i'm gonna create a new folder it says outro you know i should delete some of these but okay i usually name it 001 002 003 
Okay, so that's basically what I do and then I save my videos. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the, the recent video that I uploaded, Sims 4, for the Sim Hannah Marin. And you usually do this after you upload the video and after you, after you publish it, you're gonna go down here. You're gonna get this info on settings, enhancements, audio, annotation, cards, subtitles, and CC. And I'm gonna go click, go click annotation and well, a little bit of warning, this does annotations doesn't work on tablets and phones. It only works when your viewer is watching it from their PC or laptop. I'm going to go, there's a little preview, so I'm gonna go right at the end. You're gonna align it to the part where your outros will appear. I already have my annotations and you're gonna go click add annotation and I select note. Okay, so I selected the dark gray color and I'm going to remove the text. You're gonna select the dark gray, the gray transparent color and then click check the link down here and as you can see you could add your video playlist channel, your profile page, subscribe and fundraising project and merch. So you're gonna copy your URL and then go click subscribe right here and then paste it here or for the sake of this video for these annotation i selected video or you could playlist or channel you could preview link to check you selected the right one and i always check open link in a new video so that they could continue watching and subscribe at the same time or continue watching and open the playlist at the same time because it's annoying if you accidentally click an annotation and the video you're watching just is gone usually you're gonna click save first and then apply changes and sometimes it just auto saves so yeah thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you want to see in the next video oh my god i already created an outro oh so many bloopers in this video it's a 20 minute video and I, it's a 30 minute video no 40 oh my god I, oh this is part two thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a big gold thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you want to see in the next video subscribe for more videos every friday and you can see my previous videos right over here and go check out my blog with a letter b i go check out my blog it's in the description box you can go click the link and check it out it's really fun bye